and then back to me. So there, yeah, that was a last minute addition for you there. So you can do it in DaVinci Resolve if you really want to have a play with it. I mean, I, I use DaVinci Resolve for part of my job, so it's just easier for me to do stuff in there. But it's quite capable. Um, it's not like, you know, for huge, I'd imagine, professional use, but it's just easy for me to do it. Anyway, so there you go. So uh, after all that, that's the massive rundown of all your toys. I really do think if Darktable with a bit of development really could be a player, I don't think you're too far away. I think raw therapy is not, not, it is much more of a unique thing for people doing certain things. But Darktable's really got it. I think with a bit more playing around, it's like Reaper, and you know, it's a really good um, sequencer or, or music package, and it's got a similar look to it. But I think that a bit more intuitive controls, a little bit of a playing, and you've they've really got something there. So it's not that far away. Um, I don't, you know, there's none of the AI stuff. There are other packages. There's something called something did you did you can or something i didn't look at that but i think the you know dark table if you're coming over play with dark table you put dark table on your mac or your pc now and get used to it and then when you finally you know make the jump to hyperspace and come over to linux then you can actually you know you've got a head start on what you're doing anyway i hope that very long video has been useful and i hope you gained some information if you've got loads of questions or rants or stuff please sit in the comments but and as ever like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.